Peace. We're uh, day after uh, election day today, and um, you know I'm feeling good. I knew that Obama was going to be elected last year from the way Ron Paul was being treated in the primaries. Um, you know, and then they put up Romney, a fascist, to run against Obama, the communist. Both of them are socialists. So, I wouldn't have been any over, I wouldn't be glad today if, 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 Mick, if we could look forward to Mick Romney being president on January 20th. But I tell you what, there's a lot of things that, have already, that are already happening, which are actually etched in stone, which it, it doesn't matter which one of them is elected. I mean, this, this stuff is common. It doesn't matter. Um, it's common. So a um, friend of mine um, was asking some, some questions about you know what we can look forward to in the uh, the second term of Mr. Obama and I, I just want to remind everybody let's 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 take a time trip back to uh, 2004 when Mr. Kerry threw the election um, for all intents and purposes I probably I believe that Mick Romney probably won the popular vote no doubt about it just like Kerry won the popular vote in 04 just like Gore won the popular vote in 2000, but that don't matter anymore. You know, the the corrupt uh, electoral college votes the way they're supposed to vote, and um, you know it doesn't matter how you or I vote. So I, uh, you know, any kind of delusion that you know we're in for for anything worse or it's going to get worse just because Obama's president or it would have got better if uh, Romney's going to become president. That's pure delusion, folks. Like I said, because this stuff, what's going on with the economy is, is, is so powerful and so unstoppable that it doesn't matter. It, 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 and in fact, the thing is, is that if you're really looking for, for what's going to be going on um, in the future, you need to start looking at, um, first, the Federal Reserve, if you want to look domestically. What is the Federal Reserve doing? And then, after the beginning of the year, after we hit the fiscal cliff, and um, all kinds of doubts start you know, uh, arising from, from our economic situation, um, the IMF is going to step in. And when they, I mean, they've already told us not to, not to cut, not to cut spending. Because if we cut spending, that could create a global depression. So they've basically told the Fed, the IMF has told the Fed, keep printing. And now we have a legislatively you know we created the super congress they were supposed to fix the budget problem they have not fixed the budget problem so now we hit the fiscal cliff and that's going to create all kinds of automatic cuts well the thing is is that it's not i don't believe it's uh, an across the board cut all programs are cut the same and um you know things carry on now, they're going to hunt and pack. And you can bet that social programs are on the cotton board first. Even though more than half of the budget is defense-related, debt-related to previous wars that we fought, um, they're going to cut the social programs. You know, So you're going to be looking at inflation increasing here. I mean, we we can... I already just heard, you know, like... Just a couple days ago, that you know somebody threw out a number of you know nine percent. Right now, we're working at you know nine percent inflation, and if you 
look at uh, what we just got as a, a cost of living increase on Social Security a couple months, you know, last, what was that, last month? 1.7%, you know, so we're, we're losing, um, what, 7.2%, you know, uh, to inflation every year. And that's for us, you know, those, that's what us on a, on a fixed income can look forward to. That doesn't, you know, especially the, the people that are really screwed are the people on food stamps. So, you know, they're only getting like $150 a month or something, you know, maybe, uh, you know, for a single person, um, $150, $200 a month. And, um, you know, it, it's already hard to eat on that. So, you're going to, you know, in the next year, you're going to be eating a tenth less. So, you need to start priming for that. You need to either start. You know, I think the, the the perfect problem or the perfect solution is for you to grow your own food. Um, I grew a garden this year. I was able to put away several, you know, a couple cases of freaking um, canned goods. We were, you know, that was able to can this year. Um, and next year, uh, I plan on double tripling, you know, my yield. Um, so uh, that's one thing that you can count on. You know, your food stamps ain't going to freaking feed you any better in the future because after the first of the year, all social programs are going to be cut. You know, I'm surprised. I don't know. How, how, how bad is it going to be? I don't know. We can look at what the freaking IMF and the, the European Central Bank is doing to Greece and to all the other, you know, uh, economies there in Europe that are in trouble. And that's what's going to be happening here. You know, social, un uh, you know, civil unrest. Um, I mean, it's coming. And, you know, the, and Obamacare, you know, Obamacare is another thing that we can look forward to. Um, most of it starts going into effect this year or next year. Um, you know, the biggest thing is, is that, you know, this is socialism. This is communism. And... It would have. It wouldn't matter if Mick Romney had gotten freaking elected because the Supreme Court this summer already said it's constitutional. So, and who comes in after landmark legislation like this is uh, uh, passed? Example: Patriot Act. Who who's come in since 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 it was enacted and changed it? Or, you know, took taking their teeth, any teeth out of it. No, they, what they've done is they've expanded the scope. They've given it bigger teeth and they've given more money to the, the, the bureaucracy that was created. So this is all we can look forward to from Obamacare. And the, the biggest thing that comes out of Obamacare is that, I mean, for the people at the top and the bottom, um, it, it really, it's, it's not going to make a, any bit of difference, really. I mean, if you're, if you're on Medicare, Medicaid, or, you know, uh, you're a veteran like myself, and you're getting these benefits from the government, um, I don't foresee them stopping those, those services. I can see them rationing it, um, you know, uh, delaying services. I can see that happening. Um, you know, maybe even shortages of certain things, maybe. Uh, but uh, the biggest thing is that the IRS, the, the biggest thing that comes out of the Obamacare is, like I said, the, the, you have to buy insurance if you don't have it. So if you're poor, you're, you're exempt because you get Medicaid, you know, Medic, uh, Medicaid, or um, if you're if you're retired, you're on uh, Medicaid, Medicaid, Medi-Cal. Anyway, anyway, you, so you know, if you're elderly, you're covered. If you're poor, you're covered. Now, if you're in the middle though, and you ha have some kind of plan from your employer. Um, well, I could 
foresee that costing you more in the future. And just as all costs are going to keep growing, you know, so if you if you pay for your uh, insurance now, next year it's going to cost more. This bullshit that they're going to open, a, a, you know, this this market, this these new people coming into the um, system is going to drive down costs. No, because they've done nothing to the insurance companies, which have incentive to, uh, uh, you know, commit fraud and pay too much for services. Um, it's astounding, you know, the overbilling and, and the, you know, that those, those practices aren't going to stop. You know, and until so, all you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking people that right now are maybe self employed or are working for a small employer and they do not have insurance, and you're forcing those people to go out and buy insurance. Okay, and they're going to get they're going to get shafted they're going to get shafted in the uh, in the marketplace. Um, because there's no mandate in Obamacare for the premiums to actually go down, you know. So I would say that they're going to go up. Your premiums are going to go up. Everything is going to cost more um, because it's just the way medicine works in here in the United States, you know. Just because now there's a, there's there's this invisible uh, a check. You know, it's it's third person's writing uh, pays the bill. Uh, you know, we're not going to get any kind of reform until there's a one payer system, one payer, one payer only. Um, that's the that's that's the only kind of reform that is going to help people get more people get better coverage. But um. And that, and you know, like I said, Romney got in there. He's not, he wouldn't change it either. Um, another thing that, that people are uh, concerned about are our firearms. You know, our First Amendment rights or Second Amendment rights. I'm sorry. Um, well, our First Amendment rights are under attack as well. Um, if Romney had got in, he would have been able to prevent. Um, civil unrest any better than Obama's going to be able to. Now, if, if you have your weapons, if you have weapons, you know, be be be, be safe with them, you know, um, because when they become when when they become outlawed, you know, only outlaws are going to have guns. So you you know you you don't want to give them up, you know. So ho hopefully you've stashed them away. Um, you've sold them in the past and you don't own them anymore um, or whatever and uh, but just just realize that it's it's not gonna get any different it's not gonna get better it's not gonna get, you know it's only just gonna get worse and uh, that's what we have to look forward to you know worse worse worse